So this year's Christian Aid Week gets up and running on the 13th. Yes. Um, what's the theme of this year's Christian Aid Week? Because every year there is a project you're working towards. Yes, we're actually teaming up with another Isle of Man charity, um, which is Taramachi. Now, this organisation have previously been supported by the Isle of Man government. And what they do is they make interactive health DVDs. But the secret of these is that it's in the local language of that country. Now, the money that was given from the Alaman government went to help translate them into Kurundi, which is the native language of Burundi. So what this year's Christian Aid Week project's doing is taking these DVDs that have been made in the local language and it's giving them to the women who work with the Christian Aid um, coffee cooperatives in Burundi. And it's enabling them by giving them bicycles, by giving them training, by giving them solar panels and little DVD players to take them out into the remote areas to make sure we encourage health education and health promotion by showing these DVDs and getting the discussion and the debate going in these remote areas of Burundi. Why Burundi in particular? I mean, there must be a range of countries and mm. projects you could have chosen. Yeah, there's a that's part of the problem that there's a huge amount of choice. How the Isle of Man um, Christian Aid selects the project for the year is done through the Churches Alive in Man World Development Committee. Um, and we have, we're presented with a range of projects. So last year we had um, three different projects presented to us and we looked in detail at each of the countries and assessed which we thought was we felt was the best fit for the Isle of Man um, because it's important because the Isle of Man project if we do not raise the total money that's required for the project the project doesn't happen in full it gets tailored down to the amount of money that's raised um, so we need to make sure that we pick the right project now Burundi is one of the world's poorest countries it's it's just phenomenal, the level of poverty over there. I have never seen anything like it before, not on that scale. It's 184 on the Human Development Index of 188 countries. It's number seven out of the world's poorest economic country. It's, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. The majority of the people over there, 90%, work in agriculture. But the word agriculture in itself is, is misleading. You'd be better off saying 90% of people work on allotments because they only have between half an acre and an acre of land for a family to support themselves. Um, so the level of need out there is just phenomenal. A yearly wage, a yearly wage is $380 for a family which is just mind-blowing. That's Most people would earn at least that in a week on the Isle of Man, yet that supports a whole family for a year in Burundi. You've got a, a series of events coming up throughout the week. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening. So, um, during Christian Aid Week, um, we have um, people come in to house to house. So you'll get an envelope through your door and um, then somebody within the week will all come round and collect it. But if you don't get an envelope through your door, there are a lot of events happening all over the island in the churches. Um, so we've got ranges of um, concerts and coffee mornings and afternoon teas, um, far too many to list. Um, but if you look at the Christian Aid Facebook page, there's a full list of all the events that are taking place in the run-up and during Christian Aid Week. Yeah.